Hi, I'm Noah Spectroflog from St. Pete, Florida. My website is stretchandstrong.com, all in one word. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about movements to warm up the back. There are hundreds of ways to warm up the back. I'll just give you a few tips for today. And that's, of course, if your back is healthy. Otherwise, please go see your physician. So if you have no limitation, go on and stand on four or six hands, knees, and feet. Root your hands to the ground. Root your knees to the ground. And root your top of your feet to the ground. Have your middle fingers point forward. Have the weight equally distributed. We're going to start by only moving the tailbone, the sacrum, and a little bit above it, maybe the fifth and fourth lumbar vertebra, and release. So we're only trying to move this section right here. Exhale and move. You're going to feel a burning sensation in the front. Everything will be being pulling inward and up. Kind of like if, as if you are zipping up a really, really tight jeans. Next, you can go into the head and the tail moving at the same time, creating a huge arc trying to meet one another from underneath and from above. Inhale as you extend the back. Exhale as you are the back, rounding it. So flexion, inhale, and extension, exhale. You may want also to warm up the back by moving from side to side. You can take it and get it even bigger and get more rotation. Make sure that your head and the eyes are following the movement. And then if you want to get to your upper back, you can thread a needle, which is the arm, into the hole underneath your armpits. And of course, do every movement several times. Breathe, stay. Allow the stretches to take place. I was running through some samples. Make sure to take time to do each one of them slow and breathe in each one of them to have the effect. I hope you enjoy it. I'm Noah Spectrofloak, St. Pete, Florida, stretchandstrong.com.